Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Armina Stone Stories. I am super excited to take you through this house that's right here in the city of Pittsburgh. It's totally updated, a beautiful modern industrial home, and I'm about to meet John, the homeowner, to give us a little tour. Hey John! Hi, how are you? Gorgeous house. Welcome. Let's check it out. Come on in everybody. You did such an amazing job here, John, but it didn't always look like this. This was actually a firehouse, right? Well, to my understanding, the firehouse was actually next door, and this is where they kept the hay and the horses. Wow. So if you look at the exterior, there's still a pulley system for how they got the hay up to the top, and I left that just for character. Everything top to bottom was redone. You did an amazing job. We have to talk about your beautiful kitchen, John. You went with this gorgeous granite Maori, but it's everywhere. It's masculine, it's bold. Why did you want to choose this stone to go with everything else you picked out? The black cabinets, all the gold finishes. It works really well. Thank you. Uh, well, we will look through a ton of different options and I was going with a black and gray theme, kind of monotone throughout the house. And this was a powerful statement for me. It's a large island. I wanted to make sure I had something with nice veining through. We carried it onto the front as well. And it just worked great with the black cabinets and then a little bit of gold pop, appliances, lights, a little bit of gold addition. I love it. I think my favorite part is you have it surrounding the entire island. Correct, yeah. We did the whole front of the island as well and uh, came out beautiful. Something else that caught my eye are these two pieces that you added. You have one on each side and this is gorgeous. It's also Maori, but if you have people over, if you have a party, you can really put these to good use. I consider them as hot plates for dishes and you know stuff like that. Yeah. Well, the kitchen is not only you know where you have Armina stone featured, but you have a beautiful vanity in your master bath that really is a clean and simple quartz. You also have a stunning downstairs dry bar with a beautiful backsplash. Why did you choose Armina stone and have it featured all over your house? Well, I got some very good recommendations and Mike and Taylor were a very big help in deciding what to do, which finishes to go with, and uh, everything turned out to my liking, so I'm, I'm very happy with it. One of the coolest parts that we didn't mention yet is the amazing upstairs bar. Now that is a good entertaining space. Yeah, I, I wanted to do an outdoor space. I've never had one for myself in my own house before, so I tried to do it right up there as well. Yeah, well, where you are, you know, in the city of Pittsburgh, it's, you know, parking could be tight, it's, you know, city living, but to see the work that Armina Stone has done here, just even coming in the door, bringing all these beautiful heavy pieces of stone. How was it to watch them go through the installation process? It was impressive to say the least. Yeah, they had a, a great team of guys, very careful with every move and very precise with all the work. Well, going down to the basement, it's not just any ordinary basement. It's actually a cigar room that you built. You can see your beautiful garage. I've never seen lighting like that. Of course, you have your dry bar by Armina Stone and a gorgeous pool table. Thank you. I wanted to create a cigar lounge, ventilation, air purifiers, vapor barriers in the wall with a big window to look out at my vehicles. I'm a car guy. I think it came out pretty good. I'm ready to go check it out. Let's do it. I love your dry bar with the Armina Stone Quartz. It's clean looking. It really brings out that backsplash. But you know what? I'm ready to have some fun. Let's play some pool. 